Fred Sherwood of the White House. Yeah, who lives in the White House. The President. Of the United States. Yes. We hope you're going to follow along with us. You need something to draw with. We're going to use a marker. Some paper and something to color with. All right, let's get started. We're first going to draw the ground. We're going to draw a horizontal line that's going to go all the way across our paper from the left side over to the right side. Yeah. Then we're going to draw the bushes that are in front of the White House. So we're going to start over here and we're going to draw a bumpy line that goes all the way across to the other side. Yeah. Good job. Now we're going to draw a rectangle shape for the whole building. So we're going to draw two lines, one on the left side and one on the right, and it goes all the way up to the same height. Yeah, and then one on the other side. There we go. Now we're going to draw a line that connects the top of those two lines together. Good job. All right, now right here in the middle, we're going to draw two lines straight down. So you could start right about maybe one there and one right there. Yeah. Good. Now let's draw another line right here that goes across the top. <laughs> All right, now we can draw right here in the front, there's a triangle shape. So we're going to draw a line that comes up and then back down. Good. All right, now let's draw the pillars that are in front of the house. So we're going to draw another line right here next to that first one we drew. So right about here, draw it down. And we're going to do another one over here on this side. Now we're going to draw two more pillars in the middle. So we're going to draw two more lines right here and two more lines right next to that one. Yeah, and then two more. Oh, good job. All right, now we got the four pillars in the front of the house. Now let's add up here at the top. Let's draw a line that comes out and then down right to the side. So we're going to start there come out and then back down. Good, and then do the same thing on the other side. Now we can add the chimneys. I think that's what they are. We're gonna draw a little rectangle shape. We're gonna draw a line that comes up, over and down. And then let's draw another one on this side over here. Up, over, down. All right, cool. Now, what is missing on the front of our house? The windows. The windows, yeah, and there's a lot of windows. So up, let's draw the ones in the front, right here in between the pillars. So let's just draw a line that's gonna go right here across the top. Then we're gonna draw another one, and we're gonna line it up with the one that we first drew. So that's at the same height, and we're gonna draw another one. Good, now let's draw one below that all the way across. Yeah, good, good. All right, there's three windows. Now let's draw the door. So let's draw a door down here. And then right above the door, we're gonna draw a rainbow line. We're gonna go up and down. Kind of looks like a U, upside down U. Yeah, now let's draw a window next to the door. So we're gonna draw two lines over here. Yep, and then draw two lines on the left side for the window on the left side. So it lines up with this one. We're going to draw it right here and then also right there. Yeah, and then one more. Good, Austin, good job. Now in each window, let's draw a plus sign. So we're going to draw a plus sign there, plus sign in this window. Oh, that's okay. You, you, you added an extra window right there. <laughs> we're going to draw another plus right here and a plus right there. No mistakes, right? Yeah. Yeah. The most important thing is... To have fun. Yeah, to have fun and to... Practice. Practice. And if your drawings look a little different than ours too, that's okay. All right, now let's add a plus down here in this rectangle down here at the bottom. Right there. And then let's add another one right here. All right, Austin, we got the windows on the front of our White House. Let's add them on the side. So over here, we're going to draw four windows across the top, and we're going to line them up with these three windows. So let's first draw an L 
shape. Yeah, and then we're gonna draw an upside down L to finish that rectangle. Okay, now let's draw another one, and we're gonna draw it right next to it so that we have room to draw all four windows. Yep, and then let's add another one. And then one more, so we're adding a total of four windows. Yeah, see if you can fit another one in. You did it, good job. All right, now let's come over here. Let's repeat that same step. We're gonna have four windows on the left side now. So we're gonna repeat. We're gonna draw the L shape and then an upside down L to, do, to draw the rectangle. Are you fitting them in or are you running out of space? Um, oh, you're doing great. You got one more. Oh my gosh, your White House is looking so cool. Now let's add the plus in each rectangle. When we fast forward, or if we ever go too fast, what can our art friends do? Pause the video. Yeah, you guys can always pause the video if you need extra time. Okay, we got a lot more windows to draw. Down here, we're gonna draw another window that lines up with the ones above it. So they're also gonna touch the bushes below. So we're gonna go up, over, and down. See how it lines up? Yeah. Up, over, down. Now let's do another one right next to it and underneath the one above it. So let's start right here. Go up, over, and down. See how it lines up with that window? Yeah. Then we're gonna do the same thing all the way across till we get all the way over to the last one. <laughs> now let's add those shapes over here also on the left side. One, two, three, and one more at the very end, four. Oh, keep going. I went a little faster. I like how you're doing those shapes are perfect. Okay, now we need to add the plus in these windows also. So we'll draw a line down the middle and a line across. Down the middle and across. I like that we're repeating a lot of the same steps because then we can practice. Yeah. All right, Austin, let's add another detail on top of each of these windows on the bottom. So this first one right here is gonna be a triangle shape. So we'll draw a point and it's gonna be a pattern. See if you can tell the pattern. So we're gonna draw a curve now, an upside down U shape on this one. Then we're gonna draw a triangle shape. What do you think this one's gonna be? Um, it's uh, a pattern. Yeah, pa um, what was you. Yeah, an upside, upside down, down you. you. <laughs> okay, let's do the same thing over here. The first one is a triangle. What's the next one? Upside down you. Yep. Yeah. And then? Triangle. Triangle. And then? Upside down you. Yes, you did it. All right, our White House is missing one important thing. What is it missing? The flag. Yeah, the flagpole and the flag. So let's draw a line that comes up like this. And then at the very top, we could put a little circle if we want for the top of the flagpole. And then let's add the flag blowing in the wind. So let's draw a wavy line coming down from the top. Kind of an S line it curves. Yeah, there you go. Then we're gonna draw another one right below that that matches. See how I drew it exactly the same as the top one. Yeah, you could draw that a little longer so that it matches the top. And then let's connect the two. And then let's add the blue square on the side. So line over and up. Okay, and then we're gonna add some stripes and it's okay, our flag is so small. We're not gonna be able to fit all of the stripes. And, but look, I'm matching the same wavy. Oh, I love it, you're doing a great job. And that's perfect, you could just leave that many stripes because it's so small, it's hard to fit them all in. Yeah. Austin, let's add a few more details. Let's add one more small triangle inside of that big one that we first drew. It's a small one that matches. Yeah, and then let's add some lines up here on the top part. So let's add one, two, three, four lines. Yeah, and then let's leave a little space and add four more lines. Little more space and another four lines. And then one more at the very end if you have room. Okay, let's do that same thing over here. I'm gonna add four lines and it's actually right above each of the windows. So I'm gonna add four more lines. 
over each window. And this kind of looks like a railing at the very top of the White House. It's really cool detail. There you go. And then one more four, group of four. Austin, we did it. We finished drawing the White House. It looks so cool. Now we're not completely done. What do we still need to do? Color it. Color it. It's going to look so much better colored in. Now this part, we're going to fast forward, but at the end, you guys can pause it to match the same coloring. You ready to fast forward? Yeah. Austin, great job, man. You did awesome on coloring your White House, except there's not very much color. What color is the White House? White. White, yeah. So we, you colored the windows blue, and what color did we do the bush in front? Green. Green, yeah. Now I also used the lighter green for the grass, and I colored the sky blue, but we colored the flag too. That's one of my favorite parts. Yes. I also added a few extra lines on the door, the roof, and also I drew the little lamp it's actually a big lamp hanging down from the ceiling. We hope you had a lot of fun drawing the White House. Yeah, we do. We hope you had a lot of fun. And remember, it's okay if your drawings don't look exactly like ours because the most important thing is to have fun, to have fun and to practice. Practice. And we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Bye.